Good morning. Today I'm going to answer the big question, which is what happens when you install lots and lots and lots and lots of plugins on one WordPress website? So as I go along installing lots of plugins, I'm going to measure four things. What happens to the speed of your website as you install more plugins? Any errors that are detected as you install lots of plugins? I'm going to measure how many plugins it takes to completely break a WordPress website. And finally, we're going to track the time, the reason for the clock, how long it took me as well. So to set the baseline, this is the site I've installed. It's a clean installation running WordPress 6 and the 2022 theme. This is the performance at the moment. This is desktop and this is the mobile performance testing on Google Page Insights. I'm using InstaWP to host the site, which means I can very quickly just drag plugins in. So I'm going to start now by just dragging plugins into InstaWP. It's really cool. You can just drag it from the WordPress.org directory in like so and it will just install it for you. So I'm just going to go through the first batch now. And let's start. First 10 are done. Here they are all installed. Here's the site still running, hasn't broken yet. Let's go and measure it in page speed and see what happens when we've got 10 plugins running. I don't expect there to be a huge difference yet, but let's find out. Oh, that's quite a big change actually. That's gone down to 86 and desktops at 93. So we've suffered some decrease already. All right, time for the next batch. Right, now I have 20, 20 plugins running. My dashboard's changed a lot. I've got all these, all these messages where people are trying to make me sign up and buy stuff. But here's all my 20 plugins. Let's go and run the analytics on page speed. So we're on 83 on mobile and we are 92 on desktop. So we haven't gone down too much actually. Right, let's get on with the next batch. Okay, that is 30 plugins we've got. The site is still running, hasn't crashed. Let's measure the speed. This is what we had before. We had 84 on mobile and 89 on desktop. Let's run the stats again and see where we're at now. Okay, so we've dropped a lot on mobile. We're now down to 71 and desktop is still at 92, which is pretty good. That's 40 plugins installed. The site is still running like a charm. Charm's probably too strong a word for it. Let's run the speed test again. This is what we were at last time. 92 desktop, 71 mobile. Let's rerun it and see where we're at now. Wow, okay, so <laughs> we've had some decrease in performance on mobile. That's gone down to 54, which is really bad. And our desktop now has gone massively down to 62. So in the last batch, there were some plugins causing some serious speed issues. Not quite sure which ones, but we are now in the realms of poor performance. So that is 50 plugins and here they all are listed. Look at there, there we go. They're all active and running on the site. I have to say the admin of this site is sort of grinding to a halt, but let's go and look at the page speed now. This is what we had last time. 54 on mobile, 62 on desktop. Let's rerun the stats. Okay, so we've gone down to 45 from 51 on mobile. And so I may have noticed a slight flaw in my experiment. Well, a great big massive flaw. And that is, it's gone up. So the speed has actually got better. And that's because I've installed a whole bunch of caching plugins that speed up your website. So new rule, caching plugins are now banned from the experiment. So that's 60 plugins now installed on the website. It's still running, which is great. Look at this message from this plugin here that's telling me uh, compliance fines exceeded 1.3 billion in 2021. And that's a fairly extreme message asking me to run a compliance check. I'm guessing there will be a pro version once I've run the check, but I'm not gonna do that. Here's all the plugins. 
that uh, I've got on this site. Let's go and run the page speed insights. This is what I had last time with 50 plugins, mobile 46, desktop, bizarrely 78, that went up, uh, but we're gonna analyze it again. Mobile is still at 45, which is pretty good. Uh, we've got some issues, oh, it's not pretty good, it's terrible actually, but we've got major issues down here in terms of passing Google's test and desktop now has only dropped one to 77. <laughs> That's 70 plugins now added. We can see them all here if we scroll down beneath all these endless messages from plugin companies. And here they all are, there's 70 there. The site is still running. Let's go and run the page speed. This is what we had last time, 45 on mobile, 77 on desktop. So now we're down to 43 on mobile. We've dropped just a bit and on desktop, we've just dropped a little bit down to 75. So desktop's still faring okay actually. That's 80 plugins. This is what we had last time, uh, 70 plugins, 43 on mobile, 75 on desktop. Let's run it again. Right, we're still at 43 on mobile, which is a little bit weird, and desktop, we are now down to 65. Right, now we have 90 plugins. The mobile has dropped to 40, and the desktop's still holding pretty well at 73. Right, 100 plugins, fantastic. And our mobile has dropped to 20, which is as bad as, bad as it can get, I imagine. I can't think it's gonna get a lot worse than that, but there we go. And desktop actually is still at 70. So slight change of plan, just because it's now quarter to 11, and I don't know how many plugins it's gonna take me to actually break this website, and I need to go and buy some last minute holiday shopping. So I'm gonna batch them in plugins of 20 from this point on, and I'm just gonna grab a cup of tea. We are at 100 plugins and I still haven't managed to break the website. So now I'm gonna accelerate things. I'm gonna move on to installing 20 plugins in each batch. Let's see what happens with 120 plugins installed on a website. You can see that the stars have broken in terms of the text and the fonts. This is what we had last time. We had 20 on mobile and we had 70 on desktop. So that was with 100 plugins. Let's see what happens with 120. So rather strangely, the mobile has actually gone up to 46. I didn't really believe that 20 score anyway. I should have run it a few times really. And the desktop is now at 66. The site actually just crashed with a gateway timeout. These are the errors that it's generating. It seems to be back now but we've completely lost all our styles. So there's obviously a plugin that's breaking styles and now it's down again. It seems to be back up, but it's fairly random and intermittent. So I think it's right on the edge of what it can handle. I'm gonna go ahead and add the next 20 plugins and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, great news. We're still running at 140 plugins. Here they all are. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? And the page speed scores are 45 on mobile and 65 on desktop. Right, let's see if we can get 160 running. Right, some sad news to report. The site has now crashed with a critical error and I've refreshed it a few times and it doesn't seem to want to load. So I can't even tell you how slow or fast the website's going. I was really hoping I was gonna to get to 200 plugins, but it doesn't look like it's gonna work out. I'll keep trying for a few more minutes though. And sadly, that was that. These are the error reports we're getting, but the site is a dead site. It is no more. Very sad, 160 plugins killed it off. So really that's it for today. And I think the lesson for us all is don't install 160 plugins on your website, which you probably know already, to be honest, so it's not a great lesson. Oh, and if you can hit that like button now, that would be amazing because it really, 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 really helps spread the word of the channel. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat.